Hey, see, today's son is playing hide and seek with the clouds. Yes, that is why there is more light when it comes out and there is less light when it hides. So, we get all the light from sun every day? Yes, sun is our biggest source of natural light. <coughs> sun is biggest source of natural light for earth. I wonder how much time light takes to travel from sun to earth. Oh, it takes only eight and a half minutes. It takes eight and a half minutes for sunlight to reach earth. Hey, see, there's a rainbow. Can you count how many colors are there in a rainbow? Mm, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Mm, total seven. Yes, there are total seven colors. Hey, our sky has so many colors. <coughs> colors in rainbow. Seven. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Let me tell you a secret. What is the secret? The secret is that white light is made of these seven colors. Secret! White light is made of seven colors! Hey, that means sunlight is made of seven colors. What is this? It is called prism. What we do with it? Let me show you. Oh wow! It's a rainbow in my hand. It's a magic. No, this is not a magic. Like I told you, that white light is made of seven colors. So, with prism, I broke white light in seven colors. Oh, so prism can break white light. Yes, prism breaks white light in seven colors. Hmm, it means there are many prisms in the sky which break sunlight and we see rainbow. Yes, you're right. But these are not real prisms. These are raindrops. But raindrops are not prisms. Yes, they are raindrops. But they act like prisms and break the light. Hey, that's why rainbow appear only on a cloudy day. <coughs> Prism breaks down light in seven colors. On cloudy days, raindrops act like prisms and break sunlight and we see rainbow. Yes, you're right. Rainbows only appear on a cloudy day because there are more raindrops in the sky to break sunlight. Okay, hold this ball. What I have to do with the ball? Throw it on the wall. Oh, it bounces back. Yes, it comes back. You know, light also bounces back. Oh, I did not know that. Yes, most of the light bounces back like a ball when it hits any surface. It is called reflection. Hmm, now I know. Bouncing back of light is called reflection. You know, we see colors of different things because of reflection. How? Like I told you, when sunlight falls on anything, it absorbs many colors and some of the colors reflect back. See this orange. It absorbs all colors and reflects orange. Similarly, apple reflects red light, banana reflects yellow light. <coughs> Reflection bouncing back of light. Let me show you something new. Hey, see, moon has such a good light. Do you know, moon does not have a light. But then, from where does it give light? Oh, it reflects light of the sun. So moon does not have its own light. Yes, it is reflection of sunlight. You see these colors? Oh, this is red, yellow and blue. These are called primary colors. 
All the colors are made of these primary colors. Let's mix red and blue. Oh, see, it is coming out purple. <coughs> red, blue and yellow are primary colors. Hey, it is coming to be green now. So when you mix red and yellow, it becomes green. You know, light travels in straight line. Oh, it can't travel in other way. Yes, see, it does go from up and down. It cannot cross if you put some block on the way. <coughs> light travels in straight line. Hmm, it is getting dark in the day. Yes, it is getting dark because of solar eclipse. Oh, what is solar eclipse? When moon comes in between sun and earth, sun is hidden by the moon. So, we cannot see the sun from the earth. It is called solar eclipse. Can you tell it by magic? Yes, let's go home. <coughs> solar eclipse happens when moon blocks sunlight from earth. Hey Jimmy, what are we doing? Oh, we are going to do solar eclipse. Oh, this torch is like sun. Let's throw light on the earth with this football. Hold it for me. Oh, sure. A shadow of small ball is falling on the earth. See, it happens with sun and earth when moon comes in between. So moon shadow falls on earth. Yes. When moon's shadow falls on the earth, it is called solar eclipse. Why is it called solar? Solar is the other name of sun. Okay, what happens if earth comes in between moon and sun? Oh, it is called lunar eclipse. Why is it called lunar? Because lunar is other name of moon. Hold this small ball. It is moon. Oh yes, it is moon. And see? Now this earth is coming between moon and sun. Yes, no light from sun is falling on moon. Yeah, if you live on this side of the earth, you can see moon. Let me show you a video of solar eclipse. Five kinds of eclipses occur, as demonstrated in the following time-lapse images. A partial eclipse of the sun. An annular eclipse of the sun. A total eclipse of the sun, a total eclipse of the moon, and a partial eclipse of the moon. Eclipses occur due to the movement of the shadows of the moon and earth. Each shadow consists of two zones, one from which part of the sunlight is blocked and one from which all the sunlight is blocked. Where the partial shadow of the moon sweeps across the earth, a partial eclipse of the sun occurs. Where the full shadow of the moon is focused above the earth, an annular eclipse of the sun occurs. Where the full shadow of the moon falls on the earth, a total eclipse of the sun occurs. Where the full shadow of the earth falls on the moon, a total eclipse of the moon occurs. Where the partial shadow of the earth falls on the moon, a partial eclipse of the moon occurs. Eclipses do not occur very often because the orbit of the moon is tilted away from the orbit of the earth and the sun, the earth and the moon are rarely in a straight line. For example, when the moon and sun are on opposite sides of the earth, the shadow of the earth almost always misses the moon. When the earth and the sun are on opposite sides of the moon, the shadow of the moon almost always misses the earth. Why does the moon become smaller or bigger? Oh, these are called moon phases. Let me show you a video. The moon is a satellite that revolves around the earth while the earth rotates around the sun. It takes 29.5 days or about four weeks for one full lunar revolution. This causes what we call lunar phases. The moon has eight phases. They are determined by the position of the moon in relation to the sun and the earth. As the moon reaches certain positions in its orbit, the portion of the lit side that is visible to us changes. The sun, earth, and moon act as three points in space. For each phase, the sun and moon form different angles with the earth as its vertex. Watch how the moon's appearance changes as it revolves 360 degrees around the earth. New moon. 
Even though we can't see the moon, it's still there. It doesn't seem to appear because the shadow side is facing the Earth. As the moon revolves on its orbit, we begin to see more and more of the lit side of the moon. At 45 degrees, we see a waxing crescent moon. The term waxing means growing. Crescent moons look like croissants. Croissants! The moon continues to travel, and when it reaches 90 degrees, or a right angle, it becomes the first quarter moon. It is also known as a half moon. Then at 135 degrees, we see what is called a waxing gibbous moon. Gibbous is defined as swollen on one side, like a swollen face. Eventually, it grows to be a full moon. This is when it reaches 180 degrees. Sometimes two full moons can occur in one month. This rarity is what we call a blue moon. It's not really blue. Now the moon is making its way back. At 225 degrees, the moon becomes a waning gibbous moon. Waning means shrinking. Moving to its position at 270 degrees, we see the last quarter moon, the other half of the moon. When the moon reaches 315 degrees, we see the last phase before another new moon, the waning crescent moon. Hey, wow! I know so much now! I would tell it to my friends! Yes, yeah, my make me genius one would make you a genius! <laughs>